Oh, oh no! no! One Now we go to the part where we told our parents. Yeah, we're like, how do we tell our parents? Yeah. Mm, let's play a little game. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no! no. One second left. <gasps> my mom's sister was there, so oh, yeah. my dad read it and he was like, <gasps> and then he was like, here, you read it out loud. She, the sister, read it out loud. Oh yeah, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> like super nervous and I instantly cried. Um, it was just really cool. Like finally, like you guys, all of you guys know I don't have to hide my belly. I don't have to wear these big sweaters to hide it. <laughs> yep, and then there goes that. Anna is the rebel child. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All my sisters have the pair. Yep. <laughs> Whoa, we wanted you, Bubba. <laughs> he fought his way through. Yeah, you beat all the other rest. <laughs> <laughs> How did it feel to be the champ? <laughs> I'll be trying too. <laughs> So now we're gonna fast forward to the day leading up to my water bro breaking. Um, I the night before. Oh, I know this is the most scariest moment for me. So pretty much. Um, so throughout my whole pregnancy, he would be kicking a lot. So they told me to keep count of your kick. I knew his pattern. This night. He wasn't kicking as much as I was used to, so I was getting very worried. So I started drinking water, I was eating chocolate, I was having a bunch of sugar. Just to get some type of kick, but he wasn't doing anything, so it was really stressing me out. But, lo and behold, that night, well that morning, probably like 2, 3 in the morning, I woke up. And there was blood coming out in a mucus form. This is not okay. <laughs> I was like, you know what? This is not okay. So I wake up my babe. I'm like, hey, like, we need to go. Like, this doesn't feel right. We saw blood and mucus and we got concerned and we left. Yep. We, we left. had everything packed up already. So yeah. we just, we, we had it in the car prepared. the whole time. The suitcase was in the car. Yep. <laughs> so in case we could, like, just run. Run and go. So, it was like 3 in the morning, almost like 3, what, like 3, 10 when we got there. And then it was like 6 in the morning, and that's when it just, they made the decision for her to stay there. They're like, we're just going to keep you here. For I think you opened up like 3. Yeah, like 3 centimeters. Pretty much we were just waiting in the hospital for my water to break. And <clears throat> the whole um, labor process for me, it was... It was scary. It was just a new, like, it was just new all over again for me. So, what made me feel like calm through this whole labor process is having Anna there. Like, he just made me feel like, like I was at home. He made me feel secure. Um, it, so, I try to do as much as I could, like, to comfort her and just making sure, like, like I'm here, if you need anything, just let me know. Just try to go to the bathroom, I gotta help her, like call somebody, fluff her pillow, put the blanket, like help the nurse lift her leg because <laughs> yeah. 
she had the epidural. Yeah, so at one point just, I got it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, you know, I was just trying my best. Well, while all of that was happening, I was over here in the house enjoying my video games. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. saying. When it was time to, like, push, so I was, like, pushing and she okay she would be like okay i'm gonna put your legs really close to you um i'm gonna have you push and she's like push and i'm gonna count to i don't know how many numbers and then release at that point so then i would push 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 and then she'd be like okay there and then push 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 and okay and i did that for a couple times and then eventually the doctor came in and then a bunch of other nurses I, I know, there was, was like lot. I don't know I want to say like 10 yeah, people like, in I was there say like 11, 12 people. yeah in there just watching me give birth the nurse that was with us the whole time mm -hmm. she's the one that was like I can see his head you want to touch and she grabs her My arm hand. and her hand and puts it and you felt his what his, his head, his head. <laughs> So eventually I push and I push and then Jordani comes down. Jordani! <laughs> this little monkey does not know what's going on. And then he comes out and then we don't hear him cry. Okay, like what's going on? So when he first when he came out, he had the umbilical cord around his neck twice. It was kind of like purple a little bit. Yeah, he was. And uh, then they put him on the little incubator. And uh, they were cleaning him, thinking out of his throat and stuff. And that's when we heard him cry for right. the first time. And then Anna ended up being next to me. And then that's when we heard Jardani cry. Yeah. <laughs> Once he started crying, I got like super emotional. Yeah, it was, I don't know if... Maybe you can relate, but once you hear your child cry for the first time, it's like a, like a wireless connection. Yeah. Like you just feel like instant connection, like something just attaches like to you. I don't know how to explain it, but it feels crazy because once the baby's out, you're just like, oh my god, the baby, but that, that scream, that crying, their voice. But his cry was like super gentle. Yeah, it was a gentle it cry. It was a very gentle cry. Yeah, it wasn't like a hysterical like... Just one moment, please, okay? Okay, thank you. So then the doctor asked us, oh, what's his name? And then... And then we were like, Jardani. Jardani! Jardani! <laughs> I don't remember how it played out, but I mean, yeah. We were like, Jardani. Yeah, we were like, Jardani. Yeah, we were like, Jardani. They're like, what? Yeah, everybody was like, oh, that's a nice name. Yeah, like, we've never be... had that name here in the oh. hospital. Yeah, that's what they said. They're like, it's they normally said. just like Mark or Alex. <laughs> the whole naming thing, and I was like, in the living room, like, oh, I know of a name. It should be Jordani. And I'm like, oh, that's so cool. Where did you get that name? And I swear to you, I thought he said Game of Thrones. Like, no, it's from freaking John Wick. It's from John Wick. <laughs> I'm like, you? Oh my gosh, really? It was from John Wick. I'm like, well, at least it's a good movie. And then when we looked it up, and man, gracious gift from God, we're like, oh. Yep. That's, that's it. Yeah, and perfect. I was like, you know what? The year prior to him being born, I was seeing 1111 a lot. And I knew it was an angel number. So it was just crazy. I just felt like that name was just meant to be. We feel like you're a gracious gift of God. 
Hi. <laughs> <laughs> we FaceTimed. There is still the hospital, and I saw Jordan, and he was laid. Or, I think someone, I think you were holding him, or mom was holding him. Okay. And I saw him, and I just fell in love right as I saw you, Jordani. No. You, Jordani. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Awesome. I wish I could meet him in person. I wish I was there. Um, yeah, he yeah. was super emotional. He he cried and then I cried. <laughs> he cried. He I went, cried. And then when we got here, he was holding him. He got emotional yeah, he got once emotional again. again. <laughs> All I have to say is that I'm just happy that he's here. I'm happy that we have a new member to our family. Um, you're crying. Too? Yeah, he brings out the best in all of us. Yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much the story of yeah. like how it all happened. We thank you if you stuck around this this far. Thank you for listening to our second pregnancy story. Yep. If you haven't checked out the first one with Tristan, check it out. It's called 16 and Pregnant. Check it out. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment down below if you love these type of videos. Uh, we love to share a lot more story times. Yeah. And also, Tristan, what do you have to share say? Share the video! Please. Please! Yeah, and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you're new, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Turn on your notifications so that way you're aware when we post up Saturdays and Sundays, 12 noon. Alright guys, we'll see you on the next one. Jordani's gonna go say bye. Okay, bye bye, let's go. Bye. I'll take you. Bye. Bye.